Greetings Exiles, welcome to another episode of Bare Minimum. Today we're gonna be taking a look at a strategy that although a bit more advanced, it's still relatively simple, at least compared to others that require multiple tens of exalts of initial investment. What you will need are the nodes from Zana in the Uncharted Realms passive, and other than that, just start spamming red maps and as you complete them by killing the boss, you will eventually get free Zana maps. Keep in mind that uh, you also get a free Zana mission per day and if you add a node close to allies, you get two free missions per day. Be sure that your final map of the day is a red map so that you get red missions. Let's take a look at the loot first and then at the graph and uh, we will end the video with the excellence data. So in these two tabs called uh, Zana 1 and Zana 2, we have the loot from 100 Zana missions. So as you can see, quite a lot of stuff. We have three exalts. Uh, we have uh, these two seven league steps here, we have these uh, uh, Arakali's Fang, uh, we have this uh, Skittering Delirium Orb, and other than that I don't really think we have other big drops. Yes, I'm pretty sure that we don't. We have a medium drop here, uh, which would be Skyfort, which is somewhere around the 60 to 80 kills, and uh, you will have to pay like a 3 kills Profane Proxy uh, to be able to get a Skyfort. Other than that, in this tab called uh, Zana 1, we have uh, the maps, which are around uh, 250. Uh, we have a Twisted uh, Distant Memory Park map. We have uh, these two Blighted maps here, which are around 40 kills each. Uh, we have these, which are probably around 10 kills uh, per piece. And uh, we also have uh, this uh, Enlightened Support level 1, which is another uh, 10 kills. Uh, we actually managed to make around 2.2. 2.4 maps back for each Zana mission, which is kind of absurd uh, if you think about it. These were pretty much free missions and then we got a lot of other uh, free maps as uh, we have uh, completed them. So as you can see quite a lot of stuff. In the total which I am about to show you, Excellence will not be counting the contracts, the blueprint, the clusters here. All of them are around 20 to 50 kills, some of them. Now obviously you probably won't be able to sell them this late in the league, but you will be able to sell them uh, if you were to do this at the start of the league or in the first two months. And also uh, this flask here is uh, pretty much a max troll, so it's not gonna be counted uh, as it uh, at its actual price. Also kind of the same story with the Arakali's Fang here, it's not gonna be counted uh, at its actual price. Also, if I think about it, this blueprint here is quite expensive, because it has uh, 8 currency rooms, uh, 3 fossils, 3 fragments, 4, div four uh, divination cards, uh, 3 delirium and uh, 1 um, bridge. So yeah, the total that you're about to see is pretty much a low ball, I should say compared to what is actually in here. In my opinion, I have close to, I'd say another 500 to 1000 kills more than what you see in here. If we also take into account the fact that I am gonna be selling these at bull prices, then yeah, we definitely have at least, at least another 500 kills here compared to what I'm about to show you in the graphs. As you can see, if we take a look at the left graph, we have around 4000 kills or 35x. Duration is uh, around 8 hours, 8 hours and a half or 5 minutes per map, which I think is pretty reasonable for most builds. Your profit per map is uh, 39.8 chaos or 40 chaos, let's call it, and your profit per hour is uh, 479 chaos or 4.16x per hour. Keep in mind, this is pretty much free currency. You're getting these maps uh, as you're running the Atlas. Now, uh, if you have a build that is able to complete 20 maps per hour, which I don't think is excessive, uh, you are gonna be making around 800 kills per hour, which is a very very big uh, and absurd number, considering the fact that if you do have a build that completes 20 maps per hour, you're also gonna get quite a lot more Zana missions uh, than a build which completes uh, them in 5 to you know 6 minutes or you know something like that. If you take a look at the graph uh, in the right side of the screen, I have uh, written down the notable drops. We have uh, around 5 covers trial, we didn't actually go into them, 
but uh, you can sell them on global 820 or at least run one for uh, your completion if you're doing this uh, at the league start uh, and uh, we have around uh, five blighted maps the distant memory maps i did complete them because they're expensive but they weren't really worth it we didn't uh, really drop anything of importance in them so i would probably stay away from them anyway they were four in total we had the uh, two parandas manners which uh, gave us two several next steps and we had one putrid cloister which gave us a few divination cards that are you know nothing important i'd say probably we made around 10 kills, 20 kills in that uh, putrid cloister map. Now off to the excellence. So as you can see, we have around 4000 kills. So uh, let's uh, scroll uh, through the loot slowly. If you feel the need, pause the video and remove whatever you feel that is not actually of importance and uh, shouldn't be in here. Okay, so off to page two. Now, before we end the video, I would like to show something that uh, you should keep in mind as you are uh, running, I should say maps in general, not necessarily maps from Zana. So, uh, if you take a look, we have uh, somewhere around 4000 kills. But, if we happen to remove the total without the maps, we are actually left with around 1400 kills. So, from our big total of 4000, pretty much a third of that is only from the maps so this is actually 4000 kills if you plan on running or selling the maps that uh, you get as you do this so yeah your total if you don't plan on running any more maps or don't plan on selling them would look pretty much uh, something like this probably closer to 3000 because you know we do have a lot of other things that excellence uh, is not uh, counting now, what you also have to keep in mind is the fact that uh, these maps have been run on a fully completed Atlas. Uh, if your Atlas is, uh, I should say, uh, half of what I currently have, so if you're at, let's say, 50% completion, maybe you have something like 90, 90 or something like that, you're gonna get a little bit uh, less maps uh, than I did. But uh, if we do take a look at the loot, and we did manage to drop around 240 maps here. So let's say we drop 120. And uh, let's say that those 120 maps, uh, which be something like uh, 6 kills per map, uh, we would have uh, something like uh, 720 kills less currency than what I currently have here. So from our 4000, uh, we would be down to around uh, 3300 which I would say is definitely not bad. So is this a strategy which I recommend? Definitely this strategy is pretty amazing. Uh, it's also quite fun. It has the feeling of an adventure. Like every time you go and you click uh, Zana and uh, you see her shop, you always wonder like, uh, oh, oh, what am I gonna get this time? Am I gonna get a blighted map? Am I gonna get a Cortex? You know, if I do happen to get a Cortex, am I gonna drop a Battle Fate? You know, it's, it's pretty much a, I would say a very very fun way of uh, playing the game 
Now, if you do happen to have a build or a strategy that uh, is able to push way higher numbers, something like, I don't know, 800, 900 kills per hour, then this strategy is probably not for you. But, you know, if you do happen to have a pretty fast build, like a, a decent amount of uh, Zana missions, like I currently have here, obviously, this is a pretty decent uh, strategy and, in my opinion, uh, you should uh, definitely run it. I would recommend that you get something like 30 to maybe 50 uh, Zana missions and uh, then buy a few orbs of fun making and uh, spec into these uh, six nodes uh, here and uh, you're gonna have a great time. I'm gonna be also honest with you. After around the 50th map, I uh, got a little bit bored. So uh, although the strategy is a little bit different and you're always excited as to what you may get next time, 100 maps in one go is probably a little bit too much. So I would definitely say doing this in batches of 50 and then alternating with, you know, another strategy. Maybe you run some Harbingers here or, you know, maybe you go run a little bit of uh, Legion here or something like that. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Good luck as always, and I'll see you in the next episode of Bare Minimum. Bye, guys.